Welcome to the People's Show. My name is Comrade Kolete Obwade, and this is Studio 2 TV. And today, it's a great honor to come your way, to serve you, to be of um, relevance to you and to our society. It's the greatest honor that anybody can have. So I am honored to be on the People's Show this morning. Today, for my motivation and inspiration, I want to say to you, confront your fears. Don't run away from what you're afraid of. It's about time. You, you've been running away from your fears for all these years. Today, on the People's Show, Comrade Colette is saying, confront your fears. Face what you're afraid of, and you see that you've been wrong all along. If you're able to face your fears, all those fears will just dissipate. All the fears, your anger, your whatever that you're afraid of, that is holding you back, face it, and you take a great step in what? Moving on and making something out of your life. Confront your fears. Now, this morning, we're going to deal with the issues that are affecting the whole nation. But um, before we go into that, Yesterday was a great, great, great game. World Cup Finals. Never seen any like that before. Six goals in the game and penalty shootout deciding who is lifting the cup, the great World Cup. Oh, I enjoyed the session. I enjoyed it yesterday. And, um, but today, before we get into that, I'm going to invite Bubble, who's going to come on the show, who's going to give us what's happening on the entertainment front, what's trending, what's happening, what's really, really happening. So on the People Show, let's invite Bubble. You know, Bubble is the one who gives us the juice on what's happening on the entertainment front and she knows everything. So Bubble, I hope you're on the show. Are you on? Are you ready to give us the filler? I'm ready. Are you sure? Yeah. So tell us, what's really going down? What's happening on the entertainment scene? Okay, so let's begin with what happened yesterday. You know, recently we posted a video of Manifest. Yeah. And he was speaking about his concert that he has annually. And then the people that are going to be on the show. Yeah. So then the concert started right after the World Cup. So he waited for us to enjoy the game. Mm. And then the concert started. But then before that, he posted something on his page. I don't know if it's a poem or something. I'm going to read it. Okay. Is that Messy Messy Ballon d'Or? Mm -hmm. Shout child to you, boy. Mm -hmm. Leave them in awe. I think I saw a jaw on the floor. See you at Manifestivities 22 tonight. Let's go. I don't know where that one came from. I like, I like the poem. Can you please read it again? <laughs> Is it because of the messy in it? Or? Okay, is that... Hey, I like it. I like it. Can you say that again? <laughs> is that messy, messy ballon d'or? Mm -hmm. Chop child to you, boy. Leave them in all. I think I saw a jaw on the floor. Mm -hmm. But me, I feel it doesn't make sense. Man. No, it does. What? Let me let me explain it to you. Okay. Let's let's start again. It said, messy, messy ballon ballon d'or. Continue. Chop child to you, boy. Chop child to you, boy. Leave them in awe. Leave them in awe. I think I saw a jaw on the floor. I think I saw a jaw on the floor. He's trying to say, Messi, this is your game, and you're going to do it, and you're going to leave the whole world in awe. And that's what we're all in awe. We're all like saying, congratulations, you've earned it, you deserve it. And I, 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 poetically, that's what he's saying. And I, I respect him for these poetic lines. They are wonderful. And you could tell the rhyme in, in, in it, you know. He, yeah. has, he has the poetic mind. He's a great artist, mm -hmm. really. We need to find a dig and get him on our show. Because he mentioned Messi or because he's a great artist? No, I think he was able to, you know, create something out of this. And it can only come from someone who is artistically, poetically mm -hmm. there. You know what I mean? I guess, yeah. Yeah, I, I like it. And Messi should hear that, you know. I said, what's there? What's, what, what, what else well, is the popping? Event, the event was a success, though. We had a lot of artists who came around. We had Jackie. We had Chrissy after. Wow. It was, it was amazing. 
But then still, if we are coming back to the World Cup, you know, Davido went off social media for a bit after he lost his son. Mm -hmm. But then yesterday, he made a comeback with a few interesting photos that had his fans going crazy. Mm. He posted pictures with a tweet, actually. He tweeted ETA in one hour. Ha hashtag World Cup Qatar 2022. Mm -hmm. So that was hours before the final match. Mm -hmm. So he, in the picture we had, he and Chioma Roland. Okay. So they were the ones who lost the child. So people were actually happy to see them Together, on their yeah. screens. Yes. And then Davido was also there to perform the last yeah. for us. Yesterday he was at the closing ceremony. They sang the a iconic few, stadium. Yeah. They sang a few World Cup theme songs. People people really enjoyed that. Mm. And then still on the World Cup. Like I think the World Cup didn't just affect sports lovers. It mm. went everywhere. Yeah, I mean I'm not a fan of the World Cup, but I actually watched it. And did you watch the match? I don't regret watching it. Did you watch the match? I did watch it. Did you see Leo Messi? Why is everybody coming for him? Listen, I, I know that he's actually a good player, but then I feel he's like not, if, if you, you are... If you use if good, you, that's, that's okay, an understatement, okay. please. He's the best. Now you're talking. But then if you all acknowledge everything to him, I feel like you're not being fair. Of course, because, the team, uh -huh. the team. So I, I, I think I team. understand everyone where you're coming should, from. Everyone should say Argentina. You guys should be like, okay, he has gotten what everyone wanted him to get. Yeah. He has gotten it. So now give... You guys should acknowledge the team, the team the draw, the Argentina team the draw, because France was a very good opponent. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. Yeah, a worthy opponent. I mean, Mbappe was fantastic. I mean, scoring a hat trick in the World Cup finals. I mean, who does that? Okay, but then do you know that Canadian rapper Drake actually bet on the World Cup? Oh, did he? Yes, he bet one million, and it's not small money. As in one, one million, million USD. US dollars. And what was he betting on? He that? was betting that Argentina is going to win the cup before full time. So oh. he would have gotten his money. He was supposed to get 2.75 after he had bet the one million. So he, he was lost. supposed to get, yes, he lost actually because Argentina would have won if Mbappe didn't score. So if when Mbappe scored the first one, he still would have had a chance. But so when the second came to, uh -huh, then they spoiled it for him. And then people are actually saying that this is Drake's case because he keeps betting huge amounts. This is not the first time. He has oh. actually bet on one Barcelona game and then they lost. Mm -hmm. So people feel like when he bets on a particular game, the people are going to lose. So I feel when he betted on that game, the Argentina fans they were they were not happy about it mm. but then so at the end of the day they won the cup even if they didn't win at full time yeah yeah so they won the cup but then currently another interesting news is trending what and is then it? this all has to do with chris wado mm. he's saying that he had a show and he had the amg concert okay with medical they had a lot of artists coming up shatawale and and he's saying that he invited out to and came promise but they didn't show and then what I think makes him come out to speak about this is the fact that R2Bs and then Kim Promise attended Jackie's show. They mm. say uh, they, they attended Jackie's show at Labadi and then so the concert feels... was at Tema. So okay. how far was the distance that they couldn't make it? And then he took to his Snapchat handle. At first I thought that Snapchat were not able to take screenshots. But then based on the way people are posting this particular thing that he, he wrote, and then, so I'm going to read. He said, so yesterday, R2Bs go Jackie in show. Them no come AMG concert. And he tagged someone. He tagged Ohine Faruku. And he was asking if Ohine Faruku still manages King Promise. Because he said he watched Promise go perform for Jackie in show under. Uh, when you know, if you up, say, bro, make, make me pass Wado and Medical their show under for five minutes. So he's saying that he actually made Shatawale delay his conf his his uh, the time that he was supposed to perform mm. so all the artists that were coming he didn't make them perform even he himself didn't actually perform to the maximum okay so they all took time off because they were expecting that king promise and then rcbs were going to show up mm. and at the end of the day none of them showed up 
And yeah. he's saying he has been backing them for 20 good years now. So I yeah. think that maybe this is something that had actually gotten to him to make him come out to post that. But I he, can understand it. I mean, uh-huh. think about it. If it was you, wouldn't you? If it was You've been me, backing somebody for 20 years and then they don't hold you. They don't, they, 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 they don't have your back when you need them. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's not like they were not around or... Yes. You know what I mean? I, it hurts him because he was like, he, he has always been at the back seat. And he never complained. He's always pushing from the back. You know, we have people who don't like to come yeah. to the front, yeah. to the front, and then they are always giving you support. And then he just had a show, you know. And I feel like if they were not even going to come, they could have communicated with him or something. Mm-hmm. But then nothing. And he's saying that for clarification's sake, it's not for any clouds. It's not for train. He doesn't even care about fame. He's just tired of the disrespect and disloyalty he has yeah. been taking. It's like I, they've taken him granted. I agree with you, years. homie. I agree with you. I mean, no disrespect. I mean, the courtesy to just say, guy, yo, I might not be able to pass through because mm-hmm. of ABC. Even if you are lying, it's good to just, you know, I have the honor to call and say, I might not be able to come to the show because I have to take my mom to the hospital or something. At least. The person knows you have taken the time to call. Uh huh. And he has even informed the other artists that you guys are going to come. And yeah. Then nothing. None of you showed up. Nothing. It's so not fair, I think guys. He, he's actually taking this. He said that this foolish one side friendship won't follow me into 2023. So yeah. if I think they, if they don't come and reply to what he has said, then they probably that's... will be beefing from now to whenever. So it's such a shame, though, because they were actually a nice group when yeah. they were together. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so that's what is trending in entertainment. That's all? Yeah. Nothing about Lionel Messi? Why? Why? <laughs> why, why do you but watch? Tell me, tell me, tell me. You said you watched the match. <laughs> okay, Bubble. I watched the match. You watched the match. I did. And did you see the, 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 the penalty, the first penalty taken I saw that. by Leo? But people, people felt like the penalty was rigged. So they didn't was want it? to believe that it was a penalty. But then I actually don't know much about football. So if the referee says it's a penalty, it is a penalty. It's a penalty. Because he's in charge of the game. Yeah. Charlie, Bobo, did you did you see what happened? Messi scored first. Uh, um, uh, what's his name? Di Maria scores second. <laughs> and then we thought it's like 78 minutes. I, I actually thought that. And we thought it was over. Thinking, yes, because People were even making comments at mm. that time that France is not playing like they, they usually do. Yeah. Because this is their final, so you guys should actually be showing more action. But ah, I felt they were like getting they were, warmed up. They, they were, were getting you, warmed you, up. Yeah, I, I think that they didn't actually know what was going on. Maybe they were... You see, sometimes you can get to the stage and then all your plans, it just... Poof, it goes out. It happens. Out. It happens. So that's I, I, how I, I, I think. I it. think for those of us who have a little bit of a tactical eye. I think they were able to play Mbappe out of the game in the first half. Mm-hmm. So we, we were not seeing him. He, like you see him once in a while. But then, I think from, from the second half, from the I, 78 I, minutes I, I going. Would, if, if France won, even though I'm not a football lover, it would have hurt me because it's like they took advantage of it. It's, it's a slim opportunity. And then he scored the first goal. And then that same thing, uh, second goal, and they would have won. I ah. didn't want France to win because I didn't think they would win in um, 2018 and come back oh, in 2022. Matter. No, it no, no. I know, I know, I know it's possible, uh-huh. but I don't want it. I don't want the former champion to come back and <laughs> win again. My, what happens uh, to the rest of us? Okay. What happens to the rest of us? But Somebody it, must win. Means. Some new team must take it so that That's everybody goes back and knows that Charlie. There's an opportunity if we work hard. I mean, France alone, you came. And the Moroccan coach is saying that there has to be a rule that players will have to stop playing from, uh, like if you were born no. in France and, you, and you're an African, you can't play in France. No, no. <laughs> I don't, know I don't why. think it will work because we have a lot of players that were not playing for their country in this World Cup. So if they've scored and they've won, that's fair. And I'm actually happy it's went to the penalty shootout because then you can't say that because this person did this, that's how come they got the goal. Yeah. Now we are all watching. And if it's you square. Play, you score, if you score, you score. You're in. If you miss it, you've missed it. Exactly. And um, 
In fact, it was it was a real game, a real final. Like you don't see finals like last uh, uh, four years in Russia. It was France had destroyed Croatia even before the ninety minutes. I actually didn't watch last. I don't know why this year actually watched the World Cup. Because Leo is in the mix. <laughs> Leo know. is in the mix. Seven-time Ballon d'Or winner. Mm -hmm. Won Champions League how many times? Like three times. He won the Copa America. I mean, what is there again? This oh, we were waiting for him to just lift it up, lift the cup because we know he deserves it. Uh -huh. He's worked hard, and like no disrespect to the team, he's they not alone. Did. They all did fantastic, and congratulations to the Argentinian team. Yeah. You guys were fantastic, and you can imagine if they had lost. It would be the most painful <laughs> experience. People, people actually, they were waiting for Messi to cry. Everyone, really? Everyone felt Messi was going to cry if Argentina didn't win. He mm. looked like he would cry. <laughs> At a point, he looked like he would cry. I, so. I just, I just, <laughs> I just didn't want him to, to miss, miss, miss this great opportunity because he's to me he deserved it. Yes, he did. He deserved it. He deserved it. I mean, he's humble player. He's, he's not trying to lift himself up. He's not trying to say, yes, I am yes, this. Yes, yes, and, that's true. And that's why we love him. We love him because he's not trying to say, I am the best. Like some players I know, they want to act like <laughs> they are everything. Uh, without them, it won't happen. But Messi is a leader, a team player, and fantastic player. And congratulations to Leo, man. You're wonderful. And, and then the Argentinian team, man. We're proud of you. Even though we're Ghanaians, we we'll still <laughs> celebrate with you because it was a fantastic game. But then if Ghana got there and Ghana had to play against Argentina, you still support Messi? No, I will support Ghana. <laughs> but Ghana, the way we play... You don't even, you don't even sound confident. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, Ghana. I know. If Leo is there, it will be a problem. The, problem. the problem with Ghana is now... Look, we need to do a show on this World Cup Black Stars. Do you know that <laughs> <laughs> the sports the sports team are going to beat me because I'm, <laughs> I'm carrying I'm carrying their show. But do you know that there are some rumors coming out that uh, people were playing not playing for the glory, they were playing because of all kinds of ideas. But when are we going to get our act together? Because it looks like when it's time for Ghana to make it happen then we just yeah. we just go down like just die like that but i actually wouldn't agree with you on that because i feel like even though we might not be totally united when we are out there we actually have that unity uh -huh, but it's it is a fake unity it is like oh, it's a, not, it's not a no it, it, that is why there's that is why success is not coming from me look the unity that is going to produce results is the kind of unity that starts at home. We are united. And when we go there, it will reflect in the game. In our case, we are not united. We hate each other. We MPP hate NDC, NDC hate MPP. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, we don't love each other. We don't support each other as a nation. But when we go to the World Cup, or when we are playing out there, all of a sudden, we think we must get the victory. But we are all fighting for one goal at that point. And I feel like that's what matters. We all want to win. So that, that is what is pushing us. But we, you know what they need, say? We need one goal. You know what they say about victory? Victory loves preparation. You don't just show up and want to win. Expect to win. It doesn't happen like that. Did you see the, the, the level, the degree of the comeback spirit of France yesterday? I mean, they were down by two. They came back. They became 3-3. Three, three. I mean, they had this fighting spirit. That is what it takes. It is not what we are doing where a player scores and our, uh, you take out those who are taking us there. You kudos and they are you score. Immediately you take them out. And it's just 1-1. One, one. It's not even 2-1. It's not 3-1. And you are taking the key players who are actually delivering. We, we are joking. We are joking. And we need to get out of it. Let's, let's, let's continue the show. Today, I don't want you to go. <laughs> Today... Bubble is not leaving us. Today, Bubble is going to do the show with me. Uh, I want to do something about um, the industrial um, 
relations um, concerning the reduction. Um, you know, transport fares were reduced and it's taking effect this morning. And then, um, in fact, in the daily graphic today, page 20, transport fares down by 15.3% from today. So I don't know whether you're watching, whether you are in a trotro, wherever you are now. Remember, your fares must be reduced. I don't know how much it cost, but 15.3. So I want uh, Bubble to read it for me so that we understand what exactly is going on. Bubble, can you read the transport fares? Okay. Going so in the daily graphic, we are seeing, they are seeing that transport fares go down by 15.3% from today. So this is according to the Transport Coordinating Council and then the Ghana Private Road Transport Union. And this is to, it's after they, they had engagement between the transport operators and the Ministry of Transport. Okay. So I'm quoting, following the negotiations and in consideration with the plight of drivers, commuters and the public, we have resolved to reduce the existing transport fares by 15.3%. A statement jointly signed by the General Secretary of the GRTCC, Emmanuel Hene Yeboah, and the General Secretary of the GPRCU, Godfred Abubere. Okay. So at first, they were having people come to them that they wanted to reduce the price. That's what it says here. They say, last week, although prices of fuel continued to fall, and then they had calls from operators, they mm -hmm. decided to wait. They didn't want to rush the reduction until all the components that contributed to the increase in transport fares yeah. were reduced. Mm -hmm. So since they, they, are, they are saying that they were waiting for everything that contributed to this transport fare increments to have been reduced, and they've now reduced it, I actually don't know why it's not reflecting. Because we had, so the one I was coming to mm -hmm. work today, it was only one particular station that had reduced the fare. Mm -hmm. So... And it's funny that I wasn't the only one who was thinking about that. Okay. When I got in the car and I gave the money to the driver and he gave me back, I, I checked it and I realized that they hadn't reduced it. And then we had other passengers as the driver. Say, so driver, I didn't see now. I am one, I must say, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. So, say, I too work by now, I'm more less now about the ball. So, I was, I was actually waiting for the driver to respond. The yeah. driver said that. When they increase the fares, the mm. list that they give out is sold. But now the list that, is sold? Yes. He says that they bring it around to their various transport stations, mm -hmm. and then they sell it to the drivers, so you can put it in your car for everyone to see. Okay. But now that it has been reduced, the list isn't in. Mm. So he's saying the list isn't in. So maybe that's according to the driver. He said maybe by Wednesday next week. But then if it was increased, even if they increased it this morning, I think in the next one hour, two hours, people will have it, even if they've not bought it. They actually, do you know some drivers actually do photocopy of that list? Yeah, I've seen it before. It will be in their cars by now, and they will start arguing with us. Even if it's 50% on top of the amount, they are going to take it. Mm -hmm. But it has been reduced, and the way they will sugarcoat, oh, you should see the so way drivers So it's basically, they're finding it difficult to reduce the prices. That's, That's their I, problem. Uh -huh. But you see, it's not fair because we're in this country and prices skyrocketed and we were paying because we had no choice. Exactly. Now, if today we are saying transport fares are going down by 15.3% by, by from today, please let us feel it. Let us feel it. I mean, how many days to Christmas? Just a couple of days mm -hmm. and it's Christmas and you don't want to reduce the fares, please. Um, we need to talk to somebody. We need to talk to... One of these guys who will give us an idea of what exactly is going on. So we're going to talk to Ibrahim Moro Abbas, who is an industrial relations officer of the GPRTU, so he can share some light on what exactly is going on. Hello, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Uh, my name is Kolete Wade. I'm calling from... Um, Studios 2 TV. Yeah. I'm calling to make some inquiries. About? Regarding the transport fares that um, uh -huh. it was reported that have been yes. reduced by 15.3%. Yes. 
Um, and as an exactly industrial officer, I mm -hmm. think you'll be in a position to, you know, share some more light on that so that our yes. viewers will be yes. able to understand. We exactly can what it is. communicate last mm -hmm. Friday that effective from today, we have reduced lorry fare by 15.3%. And surprisingly, today, um, having complained or reports that some of the drivers are saying they are on our way. And the system we use when increasing law fares is the same system that we have used. So they, they are surprised to some of us. In any case, let's give any driver the benefit of the car. Any driver who says he's not aware today we are reducing law fares. Tomorrow he can't come back and tell us the same. So please, we are not supposed to fight anybody. We have to educate ourselves and get there. Yeah, but it's like you were saying, some of our, you know, viewers are saying that, um, like, it was only 50 pesos they took or they reduced. Uh, but, but they have reduced. It depends. If you are paying two cities, it is only 30 pesos that will be reduced. So it depends, the, the 15.3, it depends upon how, the, how much they were taking. So it's not a cross board. If the person says only 50% have been reduced, how much was he or she paying? It depends. Right. And you don't forget yeah. that we don't have most of these coins around Asia. Now every 10% you don't have it in abundance. So they should also be aware of all these things. Okay, um, Abbas, uh, in the daily graphic today, they are saying that on um, page 20, they are saying with the new fence, structures that used to charge eight Ghana cities for distance covered will now charge six cities 80 pesos. And then while the rate of 29 Ghana cities for distance covered has been reduced to 25 Ghana cities. Is that exactly what's happening on the ground? And also they are saying that a transfer yeah. fare of four Ghana cities has also been reduced to Three cities, 40 pesos. Long distance vehicles in the city that used to charge 120 Ghana cities from Accra to Kumasi will now charge a reduced fare of 102. While a distance that used to attract a fare of 235 Ghana cities will now charge a reduced fare of 200 Ghana cities. Is that exactly what's happening on the ground? I haven't been on the ground. I believe that is exactly what is happening. If not, they should come out and say so that we can raise the city and see how best we can trust uh, what is happening. Uh, something that hasn't come to my notice, I can't deny it or otherwise. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, back, Moro, and then we'll get back to you in case of anything. We'll All right. Thank you, Moro Abbas Ibrahim. Um, for the up to the minute um, insight regarding what's happening regarding the transport fares being reduced by 15.3 um, we're really grateful for your time and then uh, we would like to go to the streets you know speak to the drivers themselves speak to the taxi drivers the trot trot drivers and also passengers to find out exactly what's happening so we can bring our viewers to some you know ground ground you know information on what's happening on the ground so don't go away we'll be right back studios to tv the truth is here in your eyes Wafa. Patrol government do so more reducing uh, fuel prices, transportation fares from 15, more than 15.3 reduction. Now, sir, now who the people are for man? Now the old prices now now work. Oh, me they say that me no say say an system now in Tino. Me me kwa kasa me place them blood down, me place them blood down. But I be no me dey mati asie, mati asie. You know, you know, I'm the name old one. Me mati me dey so, in Tino. What in a hang? A hang to say, see, I'm only passengers. You can send a half from work to a crown age for Tigana. I think 35. I say, I owe you 35. Why are there? One said to say, I call Brunia and to be a swashy. And I'm a boy. So, also a family who are your name, Kola. Tesusana will be a home. Tonoka cry. Why? 
Passenger, have you heard about the reduction? No, please. Oh, you have not heard that there's a reduction of 15.3% transport fares taking effect from today? Yes, please. You have not heard? Yes, please. Okay. So monitor the fare he's going to charge you. It will be lower than it used to be. Okay. All right. Thank you. So we are still at the lorry station and we are talking to passengers about the reduction of the fares. We want to know exactly what it is. Ex ex exactly what's happening on the ground. Ma, Pacho, good morning. Morning. Pacho, government to say I might reduce the uh, uh, pre transportation fares. Pacho, I am pa. You will say the name is as a Missa Dreba no cry in orgy. As I say, Timomo Capani at Tria. They are a bit. My bra. Six cities. But me ba mo jimi five cities fifty. So say ana pay o free him na e buy. Able kuma e ba la pass na e six cities eighty pesos. But mo jimi six cities be do la pass. Na e fi la pass e ba an so e six cities. So mo jimi five cities fifty pesos. Okay, na cha say indeed there has been some reduction. Yes, me nti e say ate so ba me hu impre nu na me hu say na e am pass o mo ate so. Okay. I know na e pass say e am verify because. Able kuma ba la pass na e six cities eighty. E jimi six cities. And a free La Passe Bane is six cities, you give me five cities, fifty pesos. Today I say we are to sue sixty pesos, we are to sue fifty pesos. Thank you very much. That offer a touch of a touch of me, Afretete. Mr. Afretete, offer a budget station master, I be offer a government can reduce transportation fares by fifteen point three percent. Offer no new hello. A reduce lane, I make a fifteen point three percent. Oh, you know, go here. She will know what channel neighbor she feel. Any any channel. Uh, first, uh, we here. Any we here. No go to more six. Uh, six cities seventy pesos. Say be an we here six cities. Any we here. Uh, in the five cities. Say we here five cities fifty pesos. No any we watch any. Okay. Ni uh, no neighbor ne. We we hope ake. He fair here. We ba na ake any channel. She just ake. The ba channel be beautiful. Yeah, he could. Ni he could any channel. Near no, we know now. Quite no banners, I know be me one now, but couldn't work difficult. No one now couldn't work blame you. Can I be fine? You honey, my people, it's not late for the mini junior now. But one now back on me, Jackie. Government tell bang me full and leno. Can more full and leno. Equate three weeks time. Then they can work price, eh, Baba. Send me a catch and no, I don't know what quite no, I can know a corner. I can watch and no, minus an air and a kind. Honor. Kai bang me price eh no le huwe eng me ono Saturday be Monday eh what starti kwe ne une eh cheno ne kwe sa ne cheno ne one week kaje Saturday kwe ne me ne Monday ne what starti si wano kono kwe me ne Monday ne no no one 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 wakai fi government eh sa ne kai fi no koko ni eh kai ni be bote drivers ke passengers sa te eh ya ke le ha wa price eh public eh and shorter ni public eh ame fi lo ake wo he wale wake me on eh eh fair no si je wo he wale nani. Le eke fe ba hawo, ake wo he. Nwa pop basinje sa me nwin shan ke government ten eke price ba hawo. Nwa ke jie ba la ke sa ni ache no. Be government ten e sa ni eche no. Ni e hanu wo le. Si wo nak ba tu tun tun jie ake. O ba nme fu e le no. Tri wiz dan o ke wo fe. Ni ne ta cho le ten price ba ba. Ni nbo ko shka ye nwa ke he nakan fe. Fu e la wo toni e mi. Nwa ke he nakan troke kwen jwe ye basinje sa di. She no cheno no, o kang mene no, do mo kona kang mene no, what cheno? Esa ne yale na kailo. No government ay tuk beji ano jogba, ne ke wo drive se hon ayo jogba. O fine, o radon. Radon. Thank you. Okay, are you ready? Okay, Pacho, your friend was saying. Your friend was soja. Soja, na soja o ya den o ya passenger driver na station master. Me a driver. Pacho, yes, the government at say transport fares move by 15.3. It's taking effect from today. Pacho, what's your name? I'm okay, Mr. Adi. I hear you. I'm fine. You're doing my identity. Because I hear you. Uh, brave food. Say the motor is on a motor. I didn't hear the motor is on a test. Because I hear you. Is it quite a man? Is it one of the 2.7? And the idea I can't wait until any day to find a day. And to all be for oil for no can of sweat passing, say it's hard and cost rule. And the other all of it I can't say it's a day. And all my mother for you cook room, and all my total body, you say out the eternity. And the entire 
to oil the new sano manoman to swap as for the kwa ne koso. I heard the officer say so. Why? To patch say, oh dear, their government is say yente so by fifteen point three. No, you are not. You don't agree. Media minister can you pay for the card? I bet you so. Because run and do one car, most of them are ready. Man, I do bank car in say. Until say I say we reduce fifteen. I bet you I say ready in bank car in say. I know Ukubuza six months after day. I'm going to have a chance to get a new But I'm going to have oil and spare parts in the corner of Kosovo. I'm going to have a beef on my Yeah, that's fine. All right, thank you very much. All right, so viewers, as you can see, we're speaking to the drivers, we're speaking to passengers, we're speaking to station masters, and you all heard what they are saying. And though some of them have their own concerns, we promise to bring you up to the minute information on this latest development studios 2 tv on the people show will come your way and make sure that you get all the necessary relevant information but all too soon this is all that time can give us on the people show today so until we come your way next time is bye bye from the people's show studios 2 tv the truth is here, in your eyes.